This is why we can't have nice things, okay? So I'm gonna do a reaction to Camila Cabello from Fifth Harmony leaving the group, leaving them for dead, leaving them to the wolves to probably, and I'm assuming to pursue a solo career. Um, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little sick. What do you want me to say? So I gotta say something here. Oh, hi everybody, it's me, uh, Mark Suki. Suki, hey. Um, I decided to do a no edit video because, as you guys all know, Fifth Harmony, they are very close to my heart, and I love them a lot. And um, you know, I've been on the journey with them since X Factor. So imagine to my surprise when I'm just hanging out on my friend's couch, having a casual little hot chocolate, and then all of a sudden I hear that Camila Cabello is leaving Fifth Harmony, and she told the group through her representatives, through her management. You shady. Listen. I will say this, I did make a video before called Why Fifth Harmony Hate Each Other and all you guys came for me and said no they don't hate each other but now it's very clear that they didn't hate each other, these four hated this one. I remember seeing them at the Toronto show uh, for the 727 tour and my friend Jason was like yo, doesn't it seem like they all just don't like Camila? And I was like I honestly I get that feeling so bad, like so much sorry, it's like they don't even like care about her and like when they were performing it was like they were just so disconnected. I remember when I first saw Fifth Harmony they were like in love with each other, like enamored. They were five best friends, their dreams were coming true, it was sunshines and rainbows, their first song was like a pop hit and then all of a sudden like the more used to the fame they got, the more industry people they met, people be becoming friends with more famous people, doing more collaborations, having more needs and, and getting a radio hit and realizing that like Camila is like a very big part of Fifth Harmony, um, Egos, Egos brought it all down. And then I remember one time they were performing on that tour, the 727 tour, which is their last one, which was their biggest tour. Um, Camila left in the middle of the concert because she had too much anxiety, which is like a telltale sign that like, anxiety is a real thing, 100%, but like, I don't, I feel like if you were at a happy place in your life, I, you wouldn't be as anxious as you would have been to leave the stage, if you know what I'm saying. This is the thing, is that, am I surprised that Camila is leaving, or sorry, has left? You better stay there, you're not coming back. Um, no, I'm not at all, it just sucks because I was hoping that they would like push out a third album. Like, you, she must have been that unhappy if she thinks that after a second album with Fifth Harmony that she'd be able to like leave and actually pursue a solo career. It's just tough because like she'll always be remembered as that girl uh, from Fifth Harmony who like went and did solo and I get it like Justin Timberlake did it, um, Nicole Scherzinger tried to do it, Beyonce did it but like they put in work in those groups and they still have the utmost most respect for their groups like Destiny's Child Beyonce went solo, but then she went back and did Destiny's Fulfilled, and then they went solo, ultimately again. So I think that, like, it's a true sign of, like, a foundation and, like, how, how, and how to respect where you came from. Because I feel like with Camila, she's always been the star of Fifth Harmony. And she's always been, like, the most quirky one and the, and the one with the most identifiable voice. So, of course, people are going to be feeding her ego, being like, you're the star, you're the star, you're the star. But you can only be a star in a five-person group thing. I'm sorry. Like, it, this is how I feel. Like, Fifth Harmony, they're, like, together as one. But, like, when I would watch Camila perform it, like, with Machine Gun, Gun Kelly being like, hey, I'm performing this solo thing. It's just kind of like, oh, cool. Do I want her to prove me wrong? Yes, I want you to prove me wrong, Camila, because I feel like you need to go explore your, your producer, your friends with Diplo, go do songs with him. I feel like you will make some fire tracks. I will listen, I will purchase, I will buy, but current, present day, I am so mad at you that it had to come to this and you had to leave your girls behind to pursue solo. Now, moving forward, Camila, goodbye. The four of them are gonna try to pursue fourth harmony, essentially. Am I scared for them? Yes, but what they have to do is, like, get on somebody's tour. I say they should get on the Ariana Grande tour. And they just, like, have new music, a new single that they're pushing. Do not make us wait for too long because we're not going to care. We're not going to care. It is a race. It is a pop music race. For whose single will be played on the radio first? Will it be fifth harmony as a four or will it be solo harmony? The internet is going crazy. The internet is literally in flames right now, shading Camila for leaving. Do you think that they are correct?
I want you guys to tell me your honest opinion. Like, I know it's mean because we're, like, literally bullying a poor pop star that, uh, like, has anxiety issues. So we should realize that, like, she is still human and that we should treat her with some sort of some respect. But we do need a Fifth Harmony tell-all. The behind-the-scenes, the what happened, the who's who. Because there's been drama. There's been drama. When they came to Toronto for the MMVAs, um... Camila's solo manager was like, oh, Camila, you did it. Four awards to yourself. And then Lauren Horegi's mom was like, no, 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 no. The group is accountable for two of those, and Shawn Mendes is accountable for the other two. So, like, nice try. I mean, there's drama. There always has been. And those girls, like, look miserable. Like, it's like I, I compare them to Little Mix, and, like, Little Mix, they still look happy as a group. They know their role. They're smart. They, le they love each other. They're friends. And I'm sure, as as any group would, they would have their, like, behind-the-scenes, like, fights. Because, like, well, I fight with my friends all the time, but you don't see that, do you? Do, do you? So, I think that with Fifth Harmony, now that, like, they've cut out the negative energy, um, which seemed to be Camila, or maybe it was the four of them that were negative, hopefully there could be, like, happiness with the products that they can go forward to doing themselves. I am sad. Today's a sad day for me. I know that this is like a 25-year-old man talking about his favorite girl group wearing a girl group shirt, and that might be a little bit crazy, but do I care? No. I am fifth. I am an OG Fifth Harmony. I follow them through their auditions. I watch them. I've seen them every single time they've come to Toronto. I've driven to Buffalo to see them. I have a t-shirt. Like, they're my girls, and this is a sad day for me, so I hope you understand. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. No cuts. I did it. Let me know what you think about no edit videos and if I should do more too. Comment, 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 comment. Sound off. Tell me how you feel, how you feel, how you feel. End of an era. As if 2016 couldn't get any worse. Cheers. Miss moving on.